okay so this is my drill controller it has one uh, Arduino Pro Mini inside it and L293 D chip and some components as you can see some resistive passives and that's all and a port two switches okay you can see four different LEDs are here yellow green blue red so right now it's powered by my 7.2 volt uh, lithium battery setup and this is a mini craft Zero to eighteen volt DC thirty watt. Okay, drill. Conventionally, we can use for uh, drilling and also with a set of tools for grinding and other cutting activities. So, God knows what you can do with it. Okay. So this is just activates the battery level indicator in here. Uh, you can see this is a change that I made from the previous level three nine four zero. Okay. So this is the power switch. Once I turn, press this power switch. So you see it slowly starts up. This is now is for controlling the speed. Okay, you can see it turns off completely. Here's an LED which will actually And this button here reverses that. Now it is rotating in anti clockwise direction. The same speed control applies this side also. And with, when I press this, you see the LED toggles. Yellow LED is for clockwise, green for anti clockwise. This uh, slight hum that we are listening is high frequency hum because of the PWM in motion. It's going to the coils and the coils are giving high frequency hum. Okay, so uh, the security feature in here is that uh, first one is that uh, slow startup, that is soft to start. Slowly the PWM rises until the bot level. Okay, wherever if you toggle the direction or power on or off the circuit, the direction is retained in a, on even after toggle. If you hold this, see the red LED lights up. And what actually it does is that it cuts the power to the drill until it finds that the drill is out of lock. That is armature lock is not there. It senses the current using a shunt resistor using an ADC. And on certain conditions it will lock the power supply. Okay, so you will see red LED glows. Okay. That's all about it. If I release it, I close back again.